So, Suhas, thanks for taking the time to meet with me and give the presentation you gave today. Um, I'd like to focus on policy, process, and uh, politics. I was wondering if you could explain the connection between those three. Sure, yeah. You know, policy is kind of the laws or the rules that we come up with or public officials come up with. And politics is more like how they play out. And so it's both like the campaigns and elections and it's how those policies will influence those things. Because in a democracy, you know, campaigns and elections chooses like who we're going to be putting in office. And then process is really like, you know, how not just how it plays out, but like how it gets to the end user and, and also the process by which it is developed. And so the second part is, you know, we think about lobbyists and we think about how we can influence that. Um, and then the first part is about like, yeah, you know, you've come up with this great plan, but who's going to implement it? Who's going to be the one like in the field office in Kansas City, not in Washington, D.C., who's like administering the program there? So that's the real connection. Okay. And so you, you can see why process is such a big part. Yeah, we don't talk about it as much because it's not in the media all the time. Exactly. And since you said process is kind of how it meets the end users, us, how it affects everyone, mm -hmm. could people, people want to have a say in this. Uh, wondering if you could explain how people can get involved in changing or understanding the process. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, sometimes it's as simple as leaving a Yelp review. I saw one person leave a Yelp review for their local DMV, and then the the DMV's manager actually read that and started making a few changes in the office. So sometimes it's really simple. So really anything that you can do or you think will uh, get the message across to public officials or leaders. Uh, uh, you know, I've uh, another thing that's usually uh, people don't think about is um, I said in my speech, you know, public comments are a really nice way of getting your opinion read. You know, we put a, we, last year we did a big process on on what, how we're going to treat artificial intelligence and you know, the future of artificial intelligence, and we got a ton of comments, but we read every single one of them. Um, and so even like it, there weren't, you didn't have to be an expert to comment and say, you know, you know, AI is going to rule the world in 20 years. You could say that, and we put that in a pile, and there are 20 of those, but we read every single one of them. So your comments and those types of processes. Uh, actually get read and we have people hired with your money to read them now could you tell us a little about what you're doing now what your work is yeah yeah um, i'm doing a, a couple of things first i'm still staying active in the policy realm i'm just helping out a lot of nonprofits that are trying to get started around initiatives that i worked on at the white house and then you know one thing i saw at the white house was that uh you know there was a, a really um a big gap in uh, funding projects uh, that could really make a difference in communities. And so um, infrastructure projects, uh, real estate projects where the, uh, where the, um, you know, the constituency or the stakeholders were involved from the beginning, um, more sustainable type infrastructure projects and real estate projects. And so, um, and then there's technology and infrastructure where they collide. Smart cities is the, the buzzword for it these days. And so I felt like there was a real opportunity there and no one in the private sector or fewer people in the private sector were stepping up. Um, now it's becoming more popular, um, but I felt like there's a big gap. And so, so I, I'm working with a few other partners on getting financing for governments um, so that they can uh, fix their infrastructure and make it uh, relevant in 30 years. Great. Now, if, is there any point you wanted to address that, uh, let's say, is there anything you'd want the audience to know from your speech? Um, a main point, just to summarize. Sure, yeah. It's pay, pay attention not just to what you see on CNN and not just the, the laws that are proposed or come out. Those You should pay attention to those things. But um, also, when you have an experience with government and it's not a good experience, uh, write a complaint. Like, speak out about it. Just say something about it. Even the most simple thing, like a Yelp review in the example I gave, will make a really big difference. All right. Well, Suhas, thanks for the time. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay.